Okay, hello everybody. This is uh, Piotr Wasilewski here, doing a first look at the game Parasite Eve 2. Um, which, yeah, no, which is on PlayStation 1. It's been, uh, it was made by Squaresoft, back in the Squaresoft days. And, uh, yeah, what can I say about it? Well, not too much. I didn't get to, oh, I kind of played halfway through the first level, at least, I think, I hope. Got up to like a potential boss bit, but then there's some codes to figure out, and I was like, okay, now is a better time than ever to sit back and relax and not actually beat this boss. But, um, I've never been really into the kind of survival horror genre, uh, very Resident Evil like, but I am happy to have a bit of a playthrough just to give you guys an, a, like a quick opinion. Alrighty, so the graphics of the game. Uh, you know what? I believe it looks really good for its time. The, the gameplay was, you know, fluid and whatnot. I mean, it, it was a bit slow. I found that even going through the menus was running a bit slow. But visually, it looks really nice. I mean, it's all pre-rendered backgrounds that uh, that you don't really interact with. They, well, they don't do anything. They very rarely move. But uh, you do get to, you know, look at a lot of things and talk to them. Um... I've probably said this before, but yeah, once again, it looks very Resident Evil. This game looks very Resident Evil altogether. I mean, it's quite a, a simple way of putting it, but it does look a lot like it. Okay, now the sound element of the game. Uh, the sound is, you know what, it's on and off good and bad. Some of the effects are, like, really out of place. They just, or they just use footstep sounds and you just... And it's a bit weird. But, I mean, this is, once again, it's a really old game. I, I think the digital age of sound wasn't at its peak at any, any means. So, um, yeah, so I, I wouldn't say that the the sound was in its perfectness when it comes to the foley and all that stuff. But when it comes to the effects and the music, it really, it does create that atmosphere. And you do get absorbed into it. Uh, yeah, I, so I would actually give the sound a thumbs up. Especially for its time, but, you know, playing Metal Gear Solid 1, for example, just kind of rocks your mind in comparison. Uh, now, gameplay. Now, this is, like I said before in the graphics and probably in the intro, uh, is actually, yeah, very Resident Evil. But, does have its, you know, RPG elements, you know, the way you collect weapons, the, you know, you know like, the damage counters and... Uh, out of what I've played, it had a, a few RPG elements, and also the the kind of interactions with the the fights, as you know, walking around, the fight will kind of you know almost come into fight mode, very much like Kingdom Hearts if anyone's played that. Um, and then once you're in fight mode, you fight and you kill or you die. That's how it is. Um, overall, I'd say this is a fun game. It did take me like a good half an hour to get into, and that controls... I mean, it's an old school way of thinking where, you know, you guide the controls in the direction of the characters facing. And so very often I was running into really weird, like I just couldn't get through a room because I was just confused. But after like a little bit of time, I kind of got used to it. Uh, I didn't quite get into the advanced combat system. I uh, just got into the basic stuff, so it might get really interesting and really interactive there but even the, the shooting when you're playing just the, the normal little guys and whatnot it's actually uh, well done it I enjoy it the suspense is there the, the, the game's paced quite well when it comes to the action uh, yeah so I'd give this game overall I would actually continue playing this game I might even do so uh, but this is just a first look just to give you guys you know a look maybe you guys will be keen on getting it yourselves so, uh, overall, totally worth it. I've seen PS2 games that are worse than, uh, graphically and gameplay than this. Uh, <laughs> so, not that it matters, um, but, yes, yeah, so this game definitely has the right elements, and it's definitely got the ability to play through. It's two discs long, so I'm just going to assume that there's a lot of playing through, and, uh, currently playing Skyrim, so, my life is taken. Uh, but... Yeah, definitely a good pick. I might even venture into it when I finish Skyrim and have more life of a life. No, I don't. You don't have more of a life. We're gamers, we don't have lives. We experience lives in games. Haha. Anyway, um, if you could just leave a comment down below if there's anything else you want to comment about this game. Maybe you have a bit more insight into it. Uh, and yeah, I have a good one.
Thanks for watching.